mtazamaji wetu tunashukuru Mungu ni kwa sababu ya kukuruhusu kuwa mahali ulipo napi pia tunashukrani kwake Mungu kwa kutupa neema na ruhusa ya kuwa mahali, mahali tulipo na jinsi tulivyo na sisi wote tuna sababu ya kuwabia Mungu ni asante tuna sababu ya kumuhimindi na kumtukuza ni kwa sababu ya mengi na mema ambayo amekutendea na pia ameweza kunitendea tunakukaribisha kwa ibada hii na kwa kipindi hiki mahali ambapo huwa tunakuja tukiwa na kusudi na nia ya kuweza kureta our devotion our dedication to god na kutenga nyakati ya mama saa ili tuweze kumuhimidi Mungu kulitukuza jina lake na kulisifu na pia katika munda huu na nafasi hii huwa tuna allow the word of god ambalo liko na uhai na uko na uzima liweze kunenea mioyo yetu na kutuelekeza vile Mungu angetaka tuweze kuenenda na pia tuna kipindi kingine ambacho tunakiita commanding our day mahali ambapo tunachambua maandiko na kuangalia mambo ambayo tunaweza kuyafanya na ambayo Mungu ametuambia tuyafanye ili tuweze kuwafikia our god given destinies so popote pale ulipo na kukaribisha sana na tunashukuru ni kwa sababu wewe kuchagua kutazama na kutangazama runinga yako ya EBN and i want to believe this another blessed day and god has so much for me and also for you na tutaenda kukaa katika meza ya Bwana aweze kutupakulia pamoja. Basi ningetaka kwa muda na masaa haya tuweze kumuoba Mungu ili aweze kututangulia, ili aweze kutuelekeza na ili pia aweze kututumia kuweza kuzungumza na kutenda na kufanya yale angetaka kuyafanye na yaweze kumletea sifa na heshima. Tuombe mtazamaji wetu Baba wetu ni siku ingine nzuri ambayo umetupatia Hatutachoka kusongea kwako Hatutachoka kulibariki jina lako Hatutachoka kufungua vinywa vyetu tukuibie nyimbo Hatutachoka kuinama miguuni pako na kukusujudu na kukuomba Hatutachoka kutangaza wema wako ni kwa sababu wewe haujazima mioyo yetu haujazima vinywa vyetu haujatutoa uhai huu na umetangaza ya kwamba kila kiube kilicho hai kiweze kumtukuza bwana yawezekana mtazamaji ananitazama ikiwa ni asubuhi ama wengine wananitazama jioni na sisi tunafanya vile maandiko yamesema kila kiube kilicho uhai yes. kiweze kukutukuza Mungu tunakutukuza Amen. tunakutukuza masaa haya tunatangaza wema wako yes. tunaungana na dega wa angani oh. wakikuimbia nyimbo za kufungua siku Hallelujah. na wengine wakiiba nyimbo za alfa la za jioni tunaungana na malaika wako popote pale walipo watakatifu Tunaungana na watu wanaompenda Mungu. Yes, Duniani kote. Yes. Ambao wametakazwa na damu ya mwana kondoo. Yes. Ambao mioyo yao hutangaza ukuu wako. Ba, 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 our God and our Father. We, we break the atmosphere with your praise. We break the atmosphere with our adoration. Yes. Na tunatangaza jina la Bwana wa majeshi. Limeinuriwa yes. juu sana. Zaidi ya majina mengine yote tunapasua kila wingu tunapasua kila kiambaza tunapasua kila giza katika jina la Yesu na kuhakisha moto wa madhabahu tunaleta chini bendera zote ambazo zimeinuriwa kwenye maeneo zetu katika nyumba zetu katika estate ambazo tunaziishi hata katika taifa letu bendera za giza Pendera za wachawi, pendera za Illuminati, pendera za magonjwa, pendera za ajari za barabara, pendera za huzuni. Tunazizusha chini. Tunazileta chini katika jina la Yesu.
tunainua us pedera ya siba wa yuda hallelujah we leave to your banner hallelujah we call you nisi hallelujah jehovah nisi our banner is higher than each other you are our banner you are our energy yes, you, are. you are our hope yes, you are our rock yes, you, are. you are our god We shall not grow tired. Tu taleta milie tu. Tu taleta roho zetu. Tu natangazia roho zetu. Hewe moyo wangu. Pona uiname dani yangu. Pona uhusunike. Pona ufujike. Muinue pona. Shioni hii ya leo. Muinue pona. Asubuhi hii ya leo. Anae kufariji. Anae shipisha moyo wako. Anae pigana vita zako. Anae kutetea. Usiku na mchana. E moyo wangu. Worship your maker. Worship your creator. Worship Adonai. Worship Jehovah Nisi. Worship Jehovah Jireh. Adohi. Worship him my soul. And the beauty of his glory. Jehovah God. Unaituma miali yako ya jua. Juniani kote. Yes Lord. Na viumbe vyote vinapata burudani. Yes. Unayenyunyizie mioyo yetu wema wako. Unyunyizi. Na tunapata faraja. Nakupenda. Mwana wa Mungu. Mzabibu uliyo mwema. Hallelujah. Ambaye ulitutoa nje ya shamba. Oh, oh. Tulikuwa mizabibu ya mwitu. Utukaunganisha, ukatunganisha na wewe mzabibu uliyo mwema. Yes, Leo hii tunaweza toa zabibu tamu. Umetufanya kuwa nuru ya ulimwengu. Umetufanya kuwa chumvi ya ulimwengu. Tulikuwa wachungu. Tulikuwa waovu. Tulikuwa Bwana tunaleta harufu baya duniani. Oh God. Tulikuwa uchungu kwa watu wengine. Oh, Tulikuwa wachungu kwa wazazi. Yes. Tulikuwa wachungu kwa taifa letu. Jesus you have changed us. Jesus. You have beautified our lives. Jesus. We are the way because of you. Jesus we love you today. We, love we shall not be silent. Hatutanyamazisho na shida. Yes. Hatutanyamazisho na huzuni. Yes. Hatutanyamazisho. Hallelujah. Shato ya bazeke mama. We worship you Jesus. We crown you with the praise. We crown you. We worship you. We adore you in your beauty. We magnify you in your goodness. Oh Lord, we love you, we love you, we love you. We Lord. come to you, the living brook. You are the living one. The living God. fountain. Hallelujah. Unayenyunyizie mioyo yetu, unashibisha roho zetu. You are the one who heals our wounds and our hearts. You're the one who cleanses our lips and our hearts. When you are down, you lift us up. When you are lo- we are lost Lord you reaches out into us and you brings us back home Yes Lord you have given us eternal hope Yes We are not like animals Makabaganda We are not like trees Yes Lord We are not like mountain like stones We are people we are flock of your pasture We have a hope Yes Lord We worship you we worship you, Lord. We worship you. Worship Him. We worship you. Tell Jesus I worship you. I worship you. I give you my praise. I love you, Lord. Na kupa ibada. So chene. Na kupa ibada. So chene. Na kupa ibada. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Chaka tuwe sautizetu na tumuite mwenye nisi. 
Tumwambia yeye anyunyiziae mioyo yetu. Tumwambia tunampenda. This Jesus our Lord. Anayetuburudisha asubuhi na tuburudisha jioni na tuondolea uchovu. Sakaya mazanda my view. Mama mama mama. Let's worship him together. Jesus, I love you, Lord. Oh, see, I 
silent to me I become like those who go down to the pit Manisho wa Zaburi anasema Mungu wewe ndiye ninayekuita mwamba wangu na namuomba Mungu usiwe kizivi kwangu usininyamazie usije ukanyamaza na jipate niko kwa shimo Nitaka uweze kuliangalia hilo Gina the rock and how the psalmist says I call you is you I call my rock We continue verse 2 Hear the voice of my pleas for mercy When I cry to you for help When I lift up my hands to ones your most holy sanctuary. Do not drag me off with the wicked, with the workers of evil, who speak peace with their neighbors, where evil is in their hearts. Verse 4. Give to them according to their work and according to their evil of their deeds. Give to them according to the work of their hands. Rather them they are due reward. Verse 5. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the work of his hands, he will tear them down and build them up no more. We are going to put more emphasis on verse 6. Blessed be the Lord for he has heard the voice of of my pleas for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song I give thanks to him. A few things that would like us to look as we give adoration to our God. Verse 1, my viewer, the psalmist is calling God the rock. He's calling him, you are my rock. Rock means strong foundation. Wakati manyuba zinajengwa, ninaonanga maburudoza na matrakta zinatoa mchanga mwepesi na nyumba ile inawekerewa juu ya muamba. Na ikiwekerewa juu ya mwamba we are sure it will stand. May your life be planted upon the rock. May your family be laid upon the rock. May your business be laid upon the rock. Acknowledge God as your rock. Though there may be shakeups. Though there may be storms. Brother God is your rock. Don't fear them. Don't fear them. Don't fear them. He will not be silent. He will not be silent. Yes. You are rock. Verse 6 says, Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my voice, my pleas of mercy. This man pleaded God for mercy. He called God his rock and then he said, God, I bless you because I pleaded you for mercy and you heard me. 
May the Lord be blessed who have heard your cry, who knows what you are passing through, who is ready to lift you up of that crisis, yes, who is able to stretch his hand, his arm of healing. He's your rock. Put your trust and your faith upon this rock. He is immovable. The whole world and know that there is as family established upon him. Who are you? What are your small issues? Put your trust upon the rock. Fear no storm. God, you are our rock. We bless you because you have heard our pleas. Verse 7 says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. Strength. You need strength to overcome. You need strength to go over that issue. God is your strength. Declare together with the psalmist. I will not fear. I will not fear the devil. I will not fear the challenge. Jehovah God is my rock. He is my strength. He is also my shield. The work of the shield is to protect. The work of the shield is to keep safe. All the arrows of the enemy which are cast against you, which are targeting your heart, targeting your family, targeting your soul, targeting your health, Jehovah God is your shield. Declare with the psalmist. Yeah. Verse 7. The Lord, the Lord is my strength Ooh. and my Lord. He is my shield. You're my Lord and my shield. In Him my heart trusts. I trust in you. And I am helped. You Lord the mighty. In Him my heart hey. trusts. You Lord the mighty. Jesus. I trust upon you. And I'm helped. You be helped. Trust him. He'll help you. He's your rock. He's your strength. He's your shield. My heart exalts. And with us, my song, I give thanks to him. We are going to sing a song. And we tell him, You are all that matters. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the problem. It doesn't matter the disease. It doesn't matter the report. Haijarishi daktari ya meandika nini? Haijarishi watu wanasema nini? You are rock, you are strength, you are shield. Is all that matters. Jesus, you are all that matters. You are that matters. I put you in front. <laughs> You are Lord of matters. You are Lord of matters. I'll make room for two. You are now Jesus. You are Lord of matters. You are Lord of matters.
Let's sing to sing, sing to him. Your honey is all that matters. Yes, Lord. Yeah. 
May the Lord fight your battles. May the Lord give you victory. May success be your portion. May you start experiencing newness of life. May God give you life. May God give you new strength. Bwana tengeneze hiyo nyumba yako. Atengeneze mwili wako. Katika the presence of the Lord. Jehovah anyoshe mkono wake akuponye. Anyoshe mkono wake akutetee. Akusaidie. Bwana afanye kikombe chako kifurike. Kikombe chako kifurike na amani. Wewe ambaye umelia siku nyingi. May the Lord fill your cup with joy this time. May the Lord fill your cup with joy. May the Lord fill your cup with good health. May the Lord fill your cup with beauty. May the Lord beautify your life. May the Lord give you success. May the Lord fight your battles. May the Lord cover your family with joy. Bwana ingirie hali zako. Aingirie maisha ya watoto wako. Aingirie jamii yako. Aingirie taifa letu. Aingirie wazazi wako. Kazi ya mikono yako. Ipate pumzi jipya. Ipate uhai mpya. Ipate uwezo mpya. Surrender to God. He's able to fix your issues. He's able to fight your battles. Umejipigania siku nyingi. Welcome the power of God. Welcome the presence of the Lord. Allow the Lord to take over. Mwambie ninakuachia yote Bwana. I surrender all to you Jesus. Shaka ya mama mazete baganda. 
Zetaya Mamari Maza. Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus. Holy Spirit. Thank you. You can observe a moment of silence in His presence. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Lord, we choose to be silent. You're telling us to be still. And we see your arm. We see your victory. Whenever, whenever and whenever you are given space and you are welcomed, you did things that no man is able to do. Umeinua watu walio kuwa chini sana ukawainua juu. Watu walio karibu kuingia mochari kwa sababu watu wali give up na wao ukawarudishia maisha ya. Jamii ambazo zilikuwa katika vanj ya corrupting ukazipa uhai mpia. Watu ambao wali dharauriwa wakaonekana ni bure wakatupwa wakakanyangwa na watu. Uli wachukua, ukawainua, ukawarebesha, ukawafanya vitu vizuri. Atarazaro alikufa na kaziko na wakamfunika nguo za kaburi. Yesu kaingilia pale na ukamtoa, ukamupatia uwezo wa kuishi. God, Jehovah do what you used to do in our time. Do it again in our times, O oh God. Visit that family. You know the crisis they are going through, my viewers, O oh God. You know whatever they are going through in their lives. Let your heart be outstretched. Fix issues, O oh God. Fix issues. Heal that brother and that sister. Take away every pain from their bodies right away. Holy Spirit, ready a breath, the breath of life, the prayer that brings hope. God, you cannot be hindered by the four walls of that house. May your power touch them. May they experience your breath, the weed of your presence. Your sweet breeze to overshadow that heart, that soul, which has been breathing, which has been hurting. May the devil has no space in their lives. May the fire of the Holy Spirit burn in their hearts, burning every devil, every demon, every sickness, every ailment, every wickedness, every disappointment and discouragement everything laying them down we pray that it melt away by the power of anointing of God not for the glory of man don't do this because of us Jesus do it for your own glory do it for your own praise do it Lord that these people may know who you are visit all these households visit that brother who's watching Visit that sister, Spirit of Jesus. You know them. You know them. Rekindle the fire in them. Rekindle the fire. Give them new joy. Give them peace that they have never known before. Give them contentment. Restore them, God. Take them back to Eden. Eden means paradise. Eden means bliss. Yes, Lord. Eden means perfect joy, yes, abounding in your presence. Yes, Jehovah God, may we be filled by the warmth of your presence. We God, I pray no one will commit suicide. Because you are a father, you are extending your hands. You are embracing them. You are bringing them back home. Yes, Lord. Give them a new beginning. A new beginning. You are a God of new beginning. Jesus. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Holy Spirit, we love you. My dear, I want us to make a declaration. 
Tuwabia mungu unafanya mambo ambayo mwanadamu hawezi fanya na ile hali ambayo imekuleta chini it has weighed you down lift it to god na tukimwambia na tukitangaza ya kwamba unafanya mambo yasiyoweza kufanywa na mwanadamu yes mwambie mungu na kupatia hii hali na kupatia hii jamii na kupatia hawa watoto na kupatia this condition unayefanya haya we surrender to you Jesus listen to your people as they make this declaration I pray healings will take place rivers of joy they are going to be ignited they are going to pop they are going to be born great things are going to happen kujiachilia bere zake hata kuamini ya kwamba kuna mambo yametendeka I'm very highly convinced that the heart of God kono wa Mungu unaweza kuingilia kati Hauwezi ukahakisha moto na chakula kikose kuiva na mahali kuna moto kuna mabadiliko Mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye alitangulia Yesu alikuwa anaitwa John the Baptist. Alisema ya kwamba mimi nawabatiza na maji. Lakini kuna mwingine anayekuja nyuma yangu. 
atawabatiza na roho mtakatifu na moto the kingdom of god is a kingdom of fire na wakati moto umewaka moto husababisha mambo kuteleka is only that christians tumekuwa very passive tumetulia tumenyamaza we have power within us we have fire within us that can burn every disease that can break every chain that can pave every way lakini risasi kama haijatoka kwa buduki haiwezi kuwa na kazi lazima tuivoke uwezo wa Mungu ulio ndani yetu turuhusu Mungu aigilie kati turuhusu nguvu zake zitende kazi you are already baptized with the fire and the fire of the holy spirit within you once you rekindle that fire ukipepea hiyo moto ukiachilia ule uwezo ukipatia Mungu position yake hiyo nguvu na hiyo neema yaanza kuathiri mazingara hakuna ugonjwa hakuna shida hakuna jambo halitawezekana nilikuwa naona pale nyumbani kwetu up country tulikuwa na kapusi ka hiyo dakata ambayo ilikuwa not somehow na yule pusi alikuwa anapenda moto sana na wakati moto ilikuwa ikiwaka watu wanapika chakula alikuwa anakaa kwa distance lakini vile moto inaendelea ikizima anakuja kikaribia 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 na the funny thing ni ya kwamba asubuhi mkiamka mkiwa mnampata pare katikati ya jiko kwa sababu moto ilizima lakini moto ikiwaka anaondoka nataka kusema nini Yesu aliinginia msarabani na akasema yote imeisha. Alitupatia uwezo, alitupatia roho mtakatifu, lakini je, moto inawaka ama tulizima? Wakati moto inawaka, kwa hiyo jiko hata mende hawezi ka. Kunguni hawezi ka. Kiroboto hawezi ka. Kipepeo hawezi ka. Paka na panya hawawezi wakaka kwa jiko kama inawaka. Lakini ikizimwa, hata unaweza kalia gas kama haina moto hata mtoto anaweza kuiguza so my brother and my sister keep the fire burning you have a fire inside you jiunganisha na the source of fire god the holy spirit dwells in you be a man of prayer be connected jitenge na mambo yote ambayo yanaweza kuna jisi kitu chochote kinaweza kuzima moto kama ni matamushi maovu kama ni mienendo mibaya kama ni watu kama ni jabu fulani disconnect yourself and get connected with god jiunganisha Now the source of fire the source of life holy spirit is inside you all he desires is you to give him room to fight for you usijipiganie usitukanane usijiongoze usijierekeze and even as we are going to think about commanding our day allow the spirit of god to usher you to control you to lead you to overpower you to guide you he is the dynamo he is the mighty force nguvu za maombi nguvu za kuungana na Mungu hakuna nguvu kama hizo nobody ambaye hawezi kufikia destiny yake nobody ambaye hawezi kupona nobody ambaye hawezi kuinuliwa Mungu hakuuba counterfeits sio mchaina ambao wanauba vitu ambazo zinakaa kufanana god creates original things you are original but devil can mess you up can make you feel weak can make you feel hopeless hata watu wanaweza kutumiwa na shetani kukuleta down kukufanya usijihisi uko useless umejaribu mambo na yameshindwa don't just stay there recollect yourself gather your strength hook up with god mwambie god na kuachia hii hali tumeiba siku ile watu kasema ya kwamba there is nothing impossible with god na ukifanya mambo yote uiangalie with eternal perspective with eternal dimension ukijua ya kwamba there is much more life sio tu hii tunaishi siku ya leo We have been called for eternity. Kwa hivyo hata ile kitu ambayo unaifanya, uifanye ukijua ya kwamba there is life after death. There is somewhere we are heading to. Kwa maana saa zingine tunaangalia gani kama all oh, there is ni ile kitu inatendeka saa hii. God is sovereign. We ask he seeing mwisho wetu. Anaona mbali sana. Kwa hivyo align yourself with him, allow him to use you and utaenda kufikia kile Mungu alikusudia. As we wind up kwa hii session ama segment ya commanding our day commanding our destiny tukitaka tuangalie mtu mmoja ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Daudi na tusikie kile kilimtendekea kilinakiliwa katika kitabu cha Acts 
na tutasoma kutoka kwake and then we are going to do a prayer as we wind up and we tell the lord we want to see our destinies come true you can say amen to that Acts chapter 13 it's some of us 22 same way and when he had removed him he raised up David baada ya Saul kuondolewa God raised up David to be the king of whom he testified and said I found in David the son of Jesse a man after my heart who will do Oh my will. What a testimony from God. Wewe ambaye ungetaka kutimiza kusudi lako. Kuna mtu aliondolewa kwenye kiti na akakuwa replaced na mwingine. Sauli tunasikia verse 22. Let me read again. And when he had removed him, baada ya kuondoa Sauli, he raised up David to be the king of whom he testified and said, I found David the son of Jesse a man after my heart who will do oh my real Saul alikuwa amepatiwa kiti alikuwa mfalme lakini ikawa hatembei katika jia za Mungu na mtu ambaye alikuwa kijana alikuwa na chunga kodoo alikuwa amedharauriwa hata hangeitwa kwa vita hata baba yake wakati Moses I mean Samuel alikuja kutafuta mtu wa kutia mafuta baada ya kutumwa na Mungu alisahaulika alikuwa chini yeye ndiye Mungu alimchagua ni kwa nini ni kwa sababu alikuwa amesoma ni kwa sababu alikuwa na umbo wa kuvutia ni kwa sababu alikuwa beta kushinda wengine hapana the bible says i found david the son of jesse a man after my heart who will do all my will So the condition of your heart can fight for you. It can elevate you. It can promote you. Once you make your heart clean, it doesn't matter who is fighting you. It doesn't matter vile strength wako nayo. Saul alikuwa mfalme, alikuwa na uwezo, alikuwa yeye ameshikilia utawara. Lakini alingolewa kwa ile kiti ikapatiwa a shepherd boy because of the condition of the heart brother righteousness can fight for you utakatifu kupigania mtu utakatifu utengenezea mtu jia na mapito weka moyo wako ukiwa safi usibishane na wao labda kuna mume amekudharau amekuongelea vitu vibaya maybe ni in laws yawezekana ni kazini umeonewa unadharauriwa unaletwa chini yawezekana ni my neighbors Yawezekana ya kwamba hata hauna uwezo uko kama Daudi umesahaulika kwenu haonekani ni kama kitu brother and sister this is a secret the condition of your heart keep yourself holy keep yourself pure consecrate yourself be connected with Adonai be connected with Yahweh be connected with Jehovah na hakuna kitu itazuilia Mungu is going to trace you He is going to identify you. Atakutrack mahali huko. Atakurocate because of holiness, because of purity, because of righteousness. And God akatoa testimony akasema, I have found David. Akangoa Sauli na akasema, nimemuona Daudi mwana wa Jesse, a man after my heart. Who will do all that I command? May the Lord help you to love what he loves and to hate what he hates may the lord help me to love what he loves and to hate what he hates finally finally to some the last verse hapo tu tumesoma acts chapter 13 tuangalie verse 36 yasema hivi for david after he had served the purpose of god in his own generation he fell asleep and was laid with his fathers and so corruption baada ya Daudi kutumikia kusudi la Mungu the purpose of God in his life akaishi siku nyingi na akazikwa akaona corruption pamoja na mababa zake what is your purpose in life je 
utakufa kama Daudi ukisema nimeishi vizuri nimetimiza kile Mungu alifanya nitimize Biblia sema ya kwamba baada ya Daudi kutimiza kusudi lake katika maisha yake akafa na akaona uharibifu he fulfilled the purpose of the Lord in his life my brother and my sister align yourself with your maker God will help you to live long that is the randa that is the way that is the path to living a fulfilled life be a man after God's own heart love what God loves hate what he hates let God fight your battles Yesu Mungu aliweza kupigania Daudi alikutana na Goriath Goriath akiwa na uwezo mwingi akiwa na umbo akiwa na silaha lakini mtoto wa Yesu alimuendea tu na kamawe mawe haigeza kuangusha Daudi ni mkono wa Mungu haigeza kuangusha Goriath ni mkono wa Jehova uliingilia pale you may look simple your business may look simple your family may look simple yourself may look simple you may have no money but be connected with God if you are connected with the source of power just like David God will elevate you madui zako wakiona na utaiba wibo kama Daudi usema ya kwamba ameniadaria meza mbele za madui zangu na mshowe utaishi maisha na usema ya kwamba I fulfilled the purpose of the Lord in my life. Taruhusu the present worship atuelekeze na wimbo mmoja. Hatimaye tutakuwa na nafasi ya kuomba tukimalizia na Mungu atakubariki na pia aweze kutubariki. Kaidri present worship on song, one chorus as we come to the conclusion of our program today. Amen. Hallelujah. Sitabudu miungu mingine iliona mifano yote sitapiga magoti yangu ni sujudu nitakusanya sadaka zangu kama manukato kwa yesu wangu Sahili sifa Mwambie kosho Sitaburu miungu mingine kwa utaratibu iliyo na mifano yoyote Sitapiga magoti Sitapiga magoti yangu yangu Nisujudu Nitakusanya sadaka Zangu ziwe manukato Kwa Yesu Asahili sifa Mimi naleta Naleta sadaka za sifa Kwa kobwana Heshima Heshima na mamulaka Zipoke Takatifu 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 Nakuita Nakuita Takatifu Yesu Wewe Takatifu Tuseme tunaleta Naleta sadaka za sifa Kwa 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 Shima na mamulaka Zipoke Mtakatifu 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 Na kuita Na kuita Mtakatifu Oh Yesu Wewe Mtakatifu Na oma tuobe mungu pamoja Tukimalizia Tumishwa mungu Watu wa mungu popote pale muripo baada ya kumalizia hiyo ibada bwana wepe amani bwana wa hifadhi na watende mema baba wetu ni asante kwa nafasi nzuri ambayo umetupatia pamoja na watazamaji wetu tumetoa dhabihu zetu kwako tunaomba bwana zipokee ni zako tumekataa kuchukua heshima yoyote ama sifa tunasema zote zikurudie 
Endelea kuwabariki hawa watu wale wanaenda kazini na shughuli za siku watangulie wale wanalala kama ni usiku wa hifadhi wape ndoto nzuri funika nyumba zao na damu ya Yesu na maisha yao na watangazia amani na ulinzi wa Mungu wale ambao pia hawajaokoka ungetaka kuokoka ungetaka uwabie Yesu waweze kuingia katika maisha yako naweza sema hobi hili fupi sema bwana Yesu bwana Yesu fungulia moyo wangu fungulia moyo wangu na kukaribisha uniokoe kukaribisha uniokoe na unitenganisha na dhambi unitenganisha na dhambi kuanzia leo nitakufuata kuanzia leo nitakufuata amani nipe amani uandike jina langu kwa kitabu cha uzima uandike jina langu kwa kitabu cha uzima sema believing amen amen basi tubarikiwe sisi wote wewe ambaye miokoko naweza kutuandikia pia wapendo mnaweza kutuandikia let's know whether the program is blessing you wacheni tuweze kuobeana na kutiana moyo tuonane siku ya kesho we are Ebenezer Grace Ministry baraka tumewakaribisha kwa ibada zetu na pia tunaomba tukimalizia hii ibada toa sadaka yako nzuri uweze kutubariki nayo tuendelee kukuwa onea kuna namba ambayo iko kati hiyo runinga yako tafadhali uweza kutupatia sadaka yako na itatubariki sana god bless you we love you see you tomorrow in the presence of the lord amen amen ifanyia amani amen ifanyia amani kaondoa huzuni ya kanifanyia amani huyu Yesu wangu